I like this one. There wasn't too much on the cherry. It was very light. I didn't have any issues with this candle that I remember, to be honest. I don't remember a lot about this candle, but I know it was nice. It's one I liked. And I think I might have another one of this. Um, would I buy it again? Maybe if they came out with it again next year, I might try it out again to see how it goes. And I went through Key Lime Pie, which um, this was a part of a set from a while back. I think it was in 2019 because it was made at the end of 2018. The notes are Zesty Key Lime, Graham Cracker Crust, and Dollops of Meringue. I can smell more of the crust right now from the empty jar than I can than I did when I was really burning it. But I have had this, you know, I burned this on and off for several months. I liked it when it was in the living, I put it in the living room out towards the end and it was pretty strong. You could smell it throughout the house and it carried very well. So I would suggest this one again. I don't know if they're ever going to bring it back. I haven't seen it since. Let's see. We've got an iced lemon pound cake. And I jumped on the iced lemon pound cake uh, train a little bit late. There was a lot of stir about this candle that was excellent. And it really is a nice candle. I do have several backups of it. It is sugar glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. It is definitely a mixture of both, you know, the the citrus and, you know, lemony citrus and the, um, it's a mixture of both gourmand and lemony citrus. There's definitely a little bit of everything. Not too heavy on the sugared glazed icing. I'm talking into my candle, I'm sorry. But I'm trying to like kind of remember what exactly it smelled like, even though I have I have a few more. But um I do really like that candle to the point that I have two or three backups of it. One is a backup because um we had a candle that just completely like broke and shattered in the box and I had to find a way to pry it out. And what happened with that is we were able to get it out without getting glass all over it. And I saved it and Sita likes to melt down like that tiny bit that's left in there that I pull out. She has me pull the wicks out of it and she likes to melt those down and make like little sample sized tarts. And I don't mind her doing that so long as she has supervision. And she's pretty good at it. Um, I know that it can be very dangerous, hot, M melting wax over a stove with a double boiler is dangerous, but usually about that time I um, I drag my work laptop and everything else out into the kitchen so I can work while she's doing it. She's pretty independent about it, which is good. And she also likes cooking and fussing and messing with anything having to do with cooking. So to her, that's kind of like cooking a candle, I guess. But, um, I've been saving like my wax melts and then what I do with them is sometimes I do use them in my Scentsy warmers. Other times um, I have been sending little baggies with like a handful of them or a little bit more to my sister Michelle to their house so she can try those out too. I also went through a banana bundt cake and this is sweet banana, toasted walnut and fresh cinnamon. This is coming back out for fall. And actually the fall candles came out today and I was so, well not this one but another one. I'm sorry, I'm mistaking this for a different candle, but the fall came out and I wanted so badly to buy a bunch of stuff today, but I was so good. I was so proud of myself. I like this one, but I like the walnut one better, the walnut muffin one. This is nice and I do actually have another one that came out earlier this year, so I'll be using that one up eventually. But I like this candle. It was nice. I like the way it burned. Um, I didn't have any issues with it till the end and it kept flooding. So I just, you know, went at it with the cotton balls and it was fine. We've got Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. And I really love this fragrance. I believe I may have bought another one. Honestly, I don't remember because I bought so much stuff at SAS. But I do like this candle and I did buy Tutti Fruity Candy in other forms at SAS. The notes are sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. This one I had absolutely no issues with. The only problem I have is there's like one wick stuck in there with the glue. But this is a nice candle and I probably would buy it again. This was the 2020 Vanilla Bean Noel hand soap. As you guys know, I had quite a few old hand soaps when I did my inventory. And this was one of them. It wasn't too awfully old. So it still had all of its fragrance. And the notes for this are... Fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and sugar cookies. And it smells absolutely delicious, so I am looking forward to this again this year, hoping that it will be nice. I finished my Velvet Sugar Body Cream. 
And the key notes on this are red velvet cream, golden plum, sugared musk, pink jasmine, and wild strawberries. I do like this one. Um, I have another set of it. And that one I think is in a lotion. So I'm going to wait a little bit to throw it back in the collection just because, you know, I just used it. But it is nice and I probably would pur purchase again if I was out of it. The next one I used is my Beach Nights Body Cream. And this one, um, this one was really nice. It worked well. It's a newer one, so I had no issues. Fragrance notes are Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. So this one is pretty good. If you don't like the salty sea breeze idea, the note might not be perfect for you. I found it to be like more marshmallowy and kind of fresh and it made, it made me think of like marshmallow fireside a lot. So I particularly like this one and I would purchase again, but I already have a whole bunch of it. I finished a strawberry pound cake moisturizing body wash. I was gonna um, cut it open, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's done. I made sure there was a little hole in there. Yeah, where everything was gone and I just went ahead and <laughs> I squirted it out the bottom. I took the cap off and did that to finish it. This one was great as always. It's a favorite. I don't have any more moisturizing body washes for strawberry pound cake, but I do have shower gels. So don't worry, I'm not missing anything. We've got Pear Creme Brulee, the single wick candle. This one, I love Pear Creme Brulee, but this candle in particular, for some reason, first it had issues staying lit and then it just had like absolutely very little throw. Uh, once I put it in the bathroom, it worked pretty well. Not everyone really cares for like a pear creme brulee in the restroom. I wasn't really picking up on like the graham crackering notes. I don't see the notes on the bottom of this one, but I do this with single wicks every single time. And sometimes they have them and sometimes they don't. But um, this is a nice candle. It just is a little bit disappointing. I'm hoping maybe it was just a dud or maybe it's just meant for a really small space. So I'm gonna try the other one out and if it doesn't work out here in my office, I will probably just put it in the hallway bathroom. Um, the hallway bathroom, I go in there maybe once a day, once or twice a day and Sita, I, I mainly use the master bed bathroom. Sita uses the hall bathroom and didn't seem to bother her, I'm sure. If she thought it was inappropriate, she would say something. This was Confetti Daydream. This is not one that I'm over the moon about. I actually exchanged my other one when I was going in because I didn't really, it was too much for me. And it was very strong on, I believe the iris is the note. There's fresh raspberries. Oh, maybe it was the lowly petals. Um, fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, and pink lily petals. Mm, maybe it was just a little bit too floral, but it was almost headache inducing for this one for some reason. So I had this after a while, after burning it in my office a while, I just went ahead and burned it out in the living room. I finished a Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle body cream and I absolutely fell in love with this one. The only issue is that a lot of people don't like the fact that these yellow. I don't tend to wear a lot of light clothing. I know today I am, but I'm not wearing a yellow Sugared Snickerdoodle. I'm not pale enough for it to really make an effective color on my skin or be an issue. The most, uh, the only problem I had is like maybe if I was wearing white socks, but the notes are sugared snickerdoodle, or I'm sorry, fragrance notes, I can read. Snickerdoodle spice, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. This was like a buttery cookie dough and I absolutely loved it. I do have backups for this one. I have another full set of this and then I have another cream, I believe. And I finished a confetti cake pop. And I know that there's like a bunch of tiny squirts in there, but this is gonna go into this sacred space where I save ones for comparison. I know that they have the vanilla confetti sparkle, which is um, basically the repackage of this, but I'm waiting. I'm just gonna hold on to this because I do love the packaging anyway, and I'm waiting just to keep it for comparison reasons, but that is, that's a goner for me. Next, we have Angel Food Cupcake. And the notes on this are White Cake Madagascar Vanilla and Cherry Whipped Cream. I really never picked up on any kind of cherry. I did get a little bit of whipped cream and definitely that Angel Food Cake fragrance. This made me think of Angel Food Cake that my mom used to make when I was a kid. 
And if my cousin Tara Bear is watching, I don't know if she ever had that or not. I don't remember, but it reminds me of some angel food cake that she used to make. So I really, really enjoyed that one. I went through a cinnamon spice vanilla in Paris Cafe candle. And this is the one that I was struggling with. The first time I tried it, it was lovely. It was in the living room. And then the second time I tried it, second and third was here in the office. And it was like not giving a throw very much at all. When I put it back into the living room, then I, you know, then I had a better throw for some reason. I could smell it through the house. The notes are rich roasted coffee, vanilla cream, and ground cinnamon. I didn't pick up on too awfully much coffee until later in the candle, until it was almost done. And there was, you know, the cinnamon was nice. It wasn't overpowering for those of you that don't like cinnamon. I mean, obviously, if you're allergic, please don't buy this candle. But it was, it was nice. Um, I do have a backup or two of this one just because it is coffee related, but I do like it. I just think that it needs to be out in the living room. I don't know if it was an air circulation or what it was, but it just wasn't working out. We've got a birthday wishes antibacterial hand gel. I finished this one. I finished quite a few of those this month. I was very adamant about making sure that I was washing my hands and hand sanitizing since I went out a lot in June. And we've got Wicked Vanilla Woods. And I like this one, but I was kind of tired of it and not, or maybe not ready for it. Because I did like it when I got it last year. Um, the notes are Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. This really resonates with um, what I was using with it. I was using, oh, there is a little bit left. Oops. Well, it's it'll be okay. <laughs> um, I probably could not, definitely not get a wash out of that. But um, this has like a bourbony effect on it. I'm sorry, I feel like I have a cold starting on top of using all the hand sanitizer. It definitely had a um, woodsy, ambery, almost bourbony effect. And I think it was not quite false. So that's why I didn't enjoy it that much. It goes well with Kaleidoscope uh, body cream or lotion if you have it. But I don't think that, I know I'm going to repurchase a Fine fragrance mist eventually but I'm probably not going to repurchase the entire set. Next I finished a confetti cake pop body cream and I don't know if you guys noticed but now I'm just as soon as this is full I'm going at it. So I also finished another one earlier this June. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite fragrances so I would buy again. I finished the Be Enchanted body lotion and this is ancient. This was from 2013, I believe. And this was, I probably bought this maybe when my daughter was one year old. It had no issues. It smelled perfectly fine. It worked perfectly fine. I used it as a foot lotion just because it was so small and I didn't have anything else to go with it. I just found my, sis, my other sister's bag. This is Michelle's bag. Michelle finished a pH Balance Secret Spring Breeze Invisible Solid. And she said it worked well. I didn't stink. So, okay. I guess it worked for her. And she gave me five empty hand sanitizers. She works at a hospital. She works in the cafeteria. Um, she does use this a lot if she's not immediately out of sinks. So, she has something to use. She carries it. I think she has a lanyard she carries it on. Uh, there is warm vanilla sugar. Warm vanilla sugar. Or possibly in her pockets. I think some of her shirts have pockets too. A sun-washed citrus that she finished, a champagne toast, another champagne toast. Her two favorite fragrances from Bath & Body Works are actually champagne toast, and I got her to try bubbly rosé. So I think that she has some of those hand sanitizers at home right now. Because I told her, you know what, I know you don't have any hand sanitizer, and you really don't go to Bath & Body Works much, so I gave her some of mine. I went through a Christmas and cocoa mint... Uh, body cream. This was the controversial one in the house. My husband just re really didn't care for how much peppermint was going on with these. He didn't care for it smelling so much like a thin mint. It was bugging him. So I ended up using this as a foot lotion for quite a while. And when I knew he wasn't going to be home, I did use the body care if he was already gone and going to be gone the rest of the day. I finished my Twilight Woods Fine Fragrance Mist. I didn't really care for this. I don't have the notes on it. It just gave a really masculine vibe that didn't didn't go well on my skin. So 
I probably wouldn't buy it again. It is an older version. And I'm not sure if that's the reason why. The lotion was perfectly, it was fine, but still, again, not my favorite fragrance. So definitely going in the trash. I've got Strawberry Pound Cake Body Cream, which I finished with the shower or the body wash. Notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And as we know, this is a favorite fragrance of mine, so I had no trouble whatsoever using that one up. And I actually finished this last night before taping this, and this was a June 30th, almost didn't make it scent. This was a Lakeside Bonfire, and this is from Scent Theory. You can find these at Walmart. They're about $3. They're not as, not quite as nice as the Bath & Body Works ones, but... They're definitely nice. I know I had one that I thought was drying my hands out a lot. This one I didn't. I think it's just kind of hit or miss when it comes to those. I had a watermelon one. That's what it was that dried my hands out. The notes on this are toasted marshmallow, dark musk, and amber sunset. Um, I don't know about the musk. I, there was definitely toasted marshmallow. And the amber sunset actually like felt almost like an orange note. It smells like a orange cream, kind of. So I really like this one. I would purchase it again. I have so many, I really don't need to, but I would. I finished a Milk and Honey from Suave. And um, I watch Jasmine Bullard pretty often. She's also another good YouTuber if you want to go over and look at her channel. She's pretty popular. She swears by these, and these are actually really, really nice. I... You know, it says fragrances are as beautiful as Bath & Body Works right there on the packaging. It is nice. It was a nice milk and honey true to the fragrance type of thing. And I would purchase this again. I think I actually have another one. I have plenty in my cart to go through, so I don't need to. Um, the notes on this are pure vanilla bean and sweet honeyed cream. It, it was really nice, so I would definitely purchase this again. This was the... Free and Lovely by Bodycology Honey Almond Creamy Body Wash. I bought this like three or four years ago for $2 when they had them at Target. It was really nice. I enjoyed the fragrance notes or the fragrance of it. Um, the body cream I haven't used in a while, at least from this line. And the notes on this are almond milk, vanilla bean, honey, sandalwood, and creamy musk. It was nice and it seems to have a little bit more notes and it's a little fancier than most of the Bodycology stuff. So I think this was something special for Target. It was nice. Would I repurchase it? Maybe if I could find it again, but I don't think they have it there anymore. It's ancient though. Um, I also finished a Meyer, Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day Acorn Spice Scent. This was the limited edition fragrance that I got when I had a uh, Grove. Grove Collaborative and I stopped getting Grove and because they just like even if you didn't want something it would end up somehow being in my subscription I'd take it out and the next month they would stick it in there again or I I um canceled my subscription and they charged me and then sent me a box anyway and then I canceled it again and then they charged me and sent me a box anyway so after doing that two or three times you know what that card's changed by now anyway but that kind of was peeving me. This stuff is nice, but I only had it like, I kept setting it as every three months and they would still keep sending it to me. Oh, we gave you this free gift to compensate. Well, the, it's not going to compensate the 80 bucks you just took out of my damn wallet. So, you know, they kept trying to charge and outrageous. It just, it got to be too much. So if I need a hand soap, that's Mrs. Myers. If I'm dying for Mrs. Myers, they have it at Walmart or they have it at Target. So I did enjoy this one. It smelled really nice. I started, I like partway through June got in a spicy mood. So this really did help a little bit. I like this one and I would purchase it again. Um, let's see, in the hallway bathroom, we went through um, some flushable wipes. And in the master bathroom, we went through another thing of flushable wipes. I stuck this in there because we did use this on our hands a little bit. This is gentle, clean, 50% less scrubbing, pomegranate and rose water scented dawn i did like this one it was not overpowering and it did wash my hands well um it did do this it did do the dishes very well so i would probably buy this one again another bath and body works i finished the love always wins rainbow waves travel size body cream 
This one was nice and I started to appreciate it a little more than I used since I used it more. Um, when I purchased it again, I do have the full size so I don't feel the need to right now. It is not on my top 10, but it is a nice fragrance that I would suggest. It was nice and citrusy. I finished a citrus garden from Scentsy. And the reason I have this is when I was actively pursuing customers as a consultant because I am still a consultant. This was one of the scents of the month and I'm glad I finally ran out of it. This was from like 2017. I didn't really care for this one, even though it was, it wasn't a favorite of mine, but it was good in the bathroom. So I went ahead and used it in there. And I also went through a Plumeria Peach Scentsy. And this is one of my favorites. I really like this one. And they did bring it back again this year. It's like a fruit punch with a peach to it. It is pretty strong. So um, if you are ever trying Scentsy and you find a strong fragrance that you like, I suggest by using one cube at a time in a wax warmer until, until you get used to it or decide how many more to use. I tried a Dial Marula Oil Moisturizing Hand Soap, and this was actually really nice. It did moisturize my hands. Um, the smell was okay. I didn't find anything particularly off-putting or exciting about it. It did have a fragrance to it, unlike a couple of other Dial soaps that I used. Now I'm really starting to mix things up. I still have a, like, I still have a lot in there. Um, I've got a Be My Honey Scentsy Wax Bar, and I do like this one. If you are a fan of honey, it is a strong one, but it is really nice. It is a very smooth honey fragrance. And then I finished a coffee house from Goose Creek. And the notes on this are fresh coffee, chocolate, and caramel. I really liked this one at the start and it was really delicious. And you've probably seen these in a few of my shorts. Um, seen this one in a few of my shorts videos. But... It started getting a little too caramel for me or what I was expecting after lighting it and using it so many times. So I put this out in the living room. It was nice floating through the house, but it was getting a little too heavy here in the office. Um, this is the dreaded secret deodorant that was going bad and it smells sour. I got about halfway through it and it started smelling sour and I kept thinking that I was losing my mind. And I had to make my husband smell my armpits and the fact that he was willing to do that should say a lot about his character. <laughs> um, I finished a hand sanitizer in Japanese Blossom. This was out of a three pack from the Dollar Tree, so it was no biggie. I actually only got part way through it because I stopped. It started like annoying me, the smell did, and I don't feel like I'm gonna last for that. I finished a Peppermint Twist hand sanitizer. I got this at Target during the pandemic, especially during the beginning when I when you could when I could still find things. And around Christmas time for 2020, I was able to find more of these, so I did stock up on them. And then I finished some flushable cleansing cloths from Up and Up. Um, they're fresh scented, and the scent on this is pretty heavy. I probably wouldn't buy this particular brand again just because the fragrance was pretty heavy and when it's coming to intimate areas. I find the Equate ones, even though they are like fresh scented, they're not as strong. And I like that a little bit better. I'm trying to get some of the stuff out here. We finished another collagen peptides. And this proves to me, because my husband doesn't always say it, that he is using these because there's no way that I can finish one of these in a month. Uh, we always put these in our coffee first thing in the morning. And it's not a thickener. It doesn't make it super thick, but it makes it smoother makes it nicer a little bit heavier of a coffee and it does help me go longer without getting hungry for breakfast um it's 20 grams of collagen per serving these are usually about 50 dollars for this size 37 dollars for this size it depends on where you're at um i haven't resubscribed to them or anything but i still have i think two more to go through in our pantry and i finished this juicy watermelon from mainstays this one, when I first got it, it was a powerhouse, and then it wasn't a powerhouse, and that's how it was behaving, like, here in the office, and then I put this in the bathroom, the master bathroom, and I I definitely got my burns worth my $3 out of this, my three or four bucks. Um, it, it, it became a powerhouse again in the restroom, so it wasn't bad at all. And this one, this is a fun one. 
so I do buy Lush. I buy the cup of coffee face mask. And once in a while I buy a bath bomb or something. So I ordered one and the face mask leaked a little bit all over the inside of the package and the bath bomb went bad. So I, I got a hold of their customer service and they just threw a gift card at me and I was like, can you do something about the packaging? And they were like, no, there's nothing we can do. We want sustainable packaging. So I ordered with the gift card. Again, it comes and there's coffee face mask on the bath bomb. So I got a hold of, you know, I ended up with two of them now. They did not ask me to return anything. And so I asked them again and they threw another gift card at me and were like, no, no, you know, immediately their solution was, well, what happened? And I told them, this spilled a little bit. It's all over the bath bomb. I need to get another bath bomb. We'll, we'll refund your entire order. I'm like, aren't you kind of losing money at this point? But they are a big company. So um, I was able to keep the bath bomb. And what I did was I kind of cut off and shaved off the part that had the coffee stuff on it. And it was just fine. And I did use the bath bomb. So this is my little thing for the bath bomb. As you can see, a bunch of the stuff got all over the, uh, all over the receipt. And I have a bunch of bath bombs now. I went through another Boardwalk Vanilla Cone hand soap, and I love this one. This is becoming quickly becoming one of my favorite summer fragrances. This is Marshmallow Fluff Vanilla Bean and Creamy Caramel, and I really love this one, and I would and have purchased it again. In the kitchen, we finished a Kitchen Lemon Gentle Gel hand soap. And the notes for this are zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. I have no idea what's on the top of this up under the label, but it's kind of gross. Um, I love this one and I would repurchase it. I'm really starting to like more citrus fragrances like Kitchen Lemon, for instance. So definitely something I would try. My husband went through another Dr. Squatch Men's Natural Soap. And the scent on this is Cedar Citrus. And there is zero grit because he, he can't even use a loofah, so I would not buy that for him. Um, it just says cedarwood oil. He smells like orange-infused cedar. Zesty, energizing, refreshing, just like a Squatch man should be. So his opinion was, I don't smell like a girl. I like it. He didn't have any reactions or anything to it, so we're good to go on that one. I also put a boho scent circle from Scentsy in my beetle. Those last maybe a week, if that. And I had a ton of them when I was more active consultant because I would give them out as gifts. But I just, uh, I'm good. Um, I just want to use them up at this point. I've got a tickled pink bath bomb and vanilla birthday cake. And they have a little prize inside. Even though Sita likes taking a shower with me, she doesn't like taking a bath very often, but I try to get her bath bombs so she can kind of have a variety. And once you get her in the bathtub, she doesn't want to get out. So it's a win-win for mom. I went through a hand sanitizer, another one of that three pack from the Dollar Tree. And this is from when the Dollar Tree was actually a dollar and it was Ocean Breeze scented. And we went through a pack of buy two, get two, three Colgate Classic Clean toothbrushes. I'm not quite done with all my Bath and Body Works stuff, but I'm slowly working towards it. I went through a Farmer's Market Scentsy Wax Bar, and I like this one. It smells earthy, very earthy, very fresh and clean. Um, I probably wouldn't purchase this for myself again, but if there was someone I know that really particularly likes those kind of fragrances, yes, this was a little too earthy for me. And I found this and I thought my husband had finished it, but he put it way up in the back of the cabinet and then I, he opened another lotion because he forgot about it. I guess it got pushed back there. This is Moisture Cocoa Butter Care Lotion compared to Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant. This worked great. Um, I finished this out on my feet. There's only a couple of squirts left, so I finished that. I finished a Maple Apple Bourbon, which is when I was going through my spicy phase of June. And this one was really nice. We had it in the kitchen and it lasted quite a while. I finished a happy birthday cake batter hand sanitizer. I almost called it a fine fragrance mist. This one worked well. It smelled really, really nice. This one was especially strong for some reason. So we did love this one. 
And when I'm out, um, I always have at least one, if not more, attached to my purse. I know I used it, said I used it, my sister probably did. I don't think my husband did, only because he doesn't really care for those type of things. I always keep them on my purse, not just for us, but I did have a couple of different times, at least when we lived in California, where mom was like, can I use some of your hand sanitizer? I forgot mine and my kids got sticky ice cream or something on their hands. So um, I do make sure I have them not just for me, but when I'm at the park or anything else. So if another parent doesn't have any, they can certainly borrow mine. We have a cinnamon spiced vanilla and Paris Cafe. This um, I used in the kitchen. And I really like this one actually in the wallflower form. It is nice and fragrant throughout the house. I went through a love and happiness wax bar from Scentsy. This is a little more floral than I usually care to. Um, this we used in Sita's room a couple of times and I think maybe once in my bedroom. It's okay, but it's definitely not a favorite of mine. And I changed out the bulb in one of my Scentsy warmers. Oh, I have a special surprise for Karen. No laughing at me either. Two days after I broke my um, other brush, I broke another brush. So this one was not my fault. This wasn't me dragging a brush through my hair too hard or anything like that. I guess my wet brushes just decided, coinciding that they decided they, they needed to be replaced. Um, rest in peace, The one one of the wet brushes I could keep my hands on. I kept losing my other ones. We have a little divider between our little d dining room area and the living room. And this was sitting up there. And as I walked past um, the divider to go into the living room, one of the cats jumped up there and he knocked this down in a broken half. So that must have been fate right there. I did buy another one like I had stated in the past. It's an Olaf themed one for me and Sita. We are getting towards the end. We tried out these shower fizzers from the Dollar Tree. I think I got these when they were still a dollar. Um, besides fizzing, they did absolutely nothing. There was no fragrance. There was no fragrance listed and it looked like it had coconuts on it. So I thought it might be coconut scented. I used one in the shower and it didn't do anything. I actually had this big fear that I was gonna slip on one. And then um, after that, I just gave the other two to sit at and she used them when she was in the bathtub. I went through this Rose Absolute First Serum from Aromatica, and I think this was from an Ipsy bag. This was very strong in fragrance, and I didn't really care for it for that reason. Rose, I'm not huge on, I don't mind it, but it was very strong. It was like I was putting like completely like undiluted rose oil on my face, so I probably wouldn't repurchase that one. There's what I was looking for. And then I am getting ready for this So Peachy um, lip balm. I got this when I was going through my peach stuff. And look what happened to the top of it. Like almost immediately it started getting weird and melty. And I didn't take it anywhere. It wasn't in my pocket. It just, I, I mean, chunks were falling off. So I've gotten a lot better out of a chapstick I got at the Dollar Tree. So I'm tossing this one out. It's not worth fighting about. Um, I finished a Dazzling Pomegranate. Scentsy Bar, and this is a New Year's or Christmas scent that they put out. It's nice, but there is a earthy fragrance to it that I don't care for. I did use this in different places around the house. Um, would I buy again? Probably not, just because it had that earthy note that I didn't care for. And we went through a Strawberry Pound Cake Enhanced Fragrance, Fruity and Happy um, Wallflower, and I really like this one. It's working, it worked out well in the kitchen area, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see. That is all my Bath and Body Works stuff. I've got an oil-free eye makeup remover from Up and Up, and I bought, I also got my own hair probably from that brush stuck to my hand. But um, this was okay, and the funny thing is it says it's oil-free, but it made me, made me feel oily. So I'm not sure what the active ingredient in here, maybe the glycerin, um, that's what it says, is what made my face feel oily. But um, I probably wouldn't purchase this again just for that reason. I used to purchase these pretty often and put them on my, you know, either a cotton pad or a 
um, makeup remover wipe, but I think I'm going to stick to wipes for just a little bit to see what happens. I might buy a different brand of makeup remover and see if that works too. And then I went through a First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. This I used in one thing. This was from an Ipsy bag. It was okay, but it just went by so fast. Um, I think there's something about it that bugged me. I think it was a little too scrubby and it like felt like it was going to scrub my, my skin right off. And I went through an LA Ultra Shea Moisture Bar and I didn't really care for this one. It was not moisturizing at all. I felt like it really stripped my skin. So I only had one and it was really small. It was like 3.17 ounces. It didn't even feel like that. So probably not going to repurchase that one. I went through a Carefree Original 20 pack of Carefrees. I wear these because unfortunately I'm one of those people who after pregnancy I sneeze and sometimes, not every time, sometimes I sneeze a little bit. Um, these are fresh scented and they're not my favorite. I really don't care for ones that have a fragrance to them. And they, these ones don't seem to stay, where, stay put like they're supposed to, which I find very annoying at times. Um, and I don't wear them every day, just I should, but I don't. Um, I went through this small, yeah, something leaked in here. I found more of that funny colored stuff. A small travel size Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser, normal to dry skin or dry to normal skin. I'm sorry. And sensitive skin. The reason I'm trying this one is because my skin isn't really oily. It is starting to get a little bit dried out. So I wanted to try something meant for dry skin. Here's another big one for you. I went through a, we went through a Goose Creek Fur Baby candle. And the reason we did this one, it, um, it's kind of a sugary fragrance. It's called Warm and Welcome. I don't know the notes on this. We had this app, um, you know, right after we had lost Momo in May. So we kind of have, we have his ashes up there by where I burn my candles and had this up there. And I'm going to give this jar to Sita. And the last couple of items. We've got poppy fields, which they are coming out with a poppy something for Bath and Body Works. I can't remember the name of it with the life of me. Um, this one I'm okay with. I don't know if I'm going to be buying the poppy body care just because it's floral. This was a very strong powdery floral, so I don't really care for it. It started to grow on me a little bit, but I don't think I would purchase it again. And we also went through a snow place like Home, which is one of their winter scents. This one was nice. It had a light menthol to it, but not overpowering. So I would purchase that one again. And the last Scentsy item, I went through a vanilla blackberry, which is my, one of my favorite fragrances from Scentsy. And this was nice and delightful. It is a mix of blackberry. This is actually even deeper. Like if the, I wish they had like, it makes me think of blackberries and basil from Bath and Body Works with a vanilla, vanilla note to it instead of basil. And I finished a Find Your Happy Place Sweet Treats Hand Cream in brown sugar and caramel. And the funny thing about this, I was going to pick up my sister and I put some on my hand. And then um, I lost the cap in the car. I kid you not, I cleaned out my car, still cannot find the cap. So um, I used this as foot lotion and leg lotion. And I was using it on me and Sita. And as soon as my sister got in the car, I'm like, do you want some lotion? Squirt. And I gave it to her anyway because... It needed to go. I don't like things without caps because I don't want them to go bad. And I actually found several of those hand sanitizers for like 10 cents each at Walmart. So I did stock up on those because my sisters, when they do get hand sanitizers from me, if they do, it's usually a variety of Bath and Body Works and my other hand sanitizers. But surprisingly enough, that is everything for my giant bin. And I hope you will be joining me again pretty soon for my next uh, either project use it up or my next empties video. I usually fill these up pretty quickly. I already have one empty item for July. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'll let you find out when we get started. But that is everything. And I will be talking at you tomorrow. Bye.